I know I look so weird doing this, but everybody looks weird when they're doing their makeup. Usually, nothing glamorous about applying makeup. The only glamorous thing is the after effect. It just looks like I got punched in the eye. Like, bam! Ah, my eye! Okay, um. Now, now we gotta get our cream, hand cream, lotion, whatever. Don't use medical cream on your face. Don't be dumb. And don't use sanitizer either. That's not meant for your face. It's not good. Just don't do it. Don't do it. I promise you it will be bad. <clears throat> and um, you always want to apply your eye makeup usually when you have like a clean eye. Don't do it when you have pink eye or dirt in your eye or anything like that because it will backfire on you later. If you get pink eye, do not keep using the same makeup over and over again. Throw it out. And the reason why is because pink eye is contagious and it's not going to get away it's not going to go away if you keep using your makeup over and over again. You can't salvage it at that point because you're reinfecting yourself. Just don't use it over and over again. Save yourself the hassle of going to the doctor 50 times. I mean, if your doctor is Sprite, he will tell you that. Most of the times, doctors tell you that don't use your eye makeup when you have pink eye. I mean, you can't use it again, even if you used it before you had the pink eye. Don't use it because you probably contaminated the bottle of makeup or the dust of the eyeshadow or whatever you're using on your eyes. Hell, even when I get pink eye, I get rid of even my lip gloss whenever I've had pink eye. I mean, I haven't had pink eye in years, or uh, conjunctivitis as some call it. Um, that's because my ex-boyfriend was a dirty mother. You know what? Um, because he didn't know how to, like, clean properly. Hence why he's my ex-boyfriend. Makeup's expensive. It's not cheap. Um, I've had guys sit there and bitch. Excuse my French. They've complained about having to buy me a uh, coffee. Guys my age, they complain about buying me a meal or a coffee. They just want to do this thing called Netflix and chill. Ladies, a coffee at, at is about three dollars three dollars your mascara costs more than your coffee if the man cannot even buy you a coffee after you've decked out and look beautiful for him he doesn't really deserve you so uh like drop him you know um and if they're like complaining about if they say to you oh let's netflix and chill or let's walk in the park. You say, all right, well, I'm not going to dress up for you. You tell them that straight out, women. I mean it. You tell them that. Because you know something? He doesn't do that for you. What does he do? What, he wakes up, showers, brushes his teeth, combs his hair, and walks out? Like, we already have to do that as a norm. In fact, we have to shave more than they do. And, I mean, they'll be like, oh, well, I put hairspray or gel in my hair like mascara is practically a gel in a sense because it holds your eyelashes up where you want them to be so like you know and gel is not you can get gel for really cheap and by the time the girl actually like you know puts does her hair up or even if she doesn't and she's just doing some eyeliner I mean the eyeliner alone is very expensive. So girls don't settle. I don't care if somebody's like, well, women's rights, and you're bringing us back to 1930. Like, dude, like, I'll tell you right now, like every guy said to me, oh, you look good without makeup. But when I put makeup on, I mean, look at my face so far. 
look. I look like I just went to a beauty parlor and I'm about to like walk out on the runway. Like my face looks good like this. And no man can deny that. Like they, I mean they can if they're just being a jerk, but like no man is going to sit there and um, basically, you know, every man is going to look at me like, wow, you look, you look made up, you look great because you're enhancing your natural beauty. And, you know, with me, like I had this one guy, I used to date him, he was an engineer and uh, he'd be like, you don't need makeup, you're fine. But then when I would put on makeup. It was like as if he saw like an angel pop out of the sky. Like literally he was, he was impressed. And he was like, wow, you look beautiful. Like you could just tell by the look on their faces that they are impressed by the way you look when you, when you do your makeup right. Now that doesn't mean overdo your makeup. Always keep it natural. Don't. Don't keep it unnatural. You want to have a natural beauty and um, stuff. And I will show you in another video how to apply your how to apply your eyeshadow. I recommend if you buy makeup, get your mascara from Walmart. You know, because it's cheap there. Um, use the L'Oreal one that I showed you. The L'Oreal Butterfly Lash Effect. Because I've been using it for years. And it's really good. And if they don't have it, I know CoverGirl has a similar brush. All the, all the brands have a similar brush. It's, I like that one in particular. Because it fans out your... The edges of your lashes like a butterfly. And that's, like, truly beautiful. Um... Because you're, that's how your eyelashes should be. The edges should be fanned out. Like your jasmine or something. So yeah. Um, do that. I mean I'm surprised my makeup came out this good. Considering I'm not using a mirror. Um, uh, it's still dark. Basically. This is. What. It'll look like. Something like this. As you can see. I mean, well, on this eye here, this this eye, it's a little bit too dark under the lid. Um, I uploaded this video, by the way, as a request of one of my friends. She knows who she is. Although I've had several people ask me to do tutorials. I even get people around town asking me to do a tutorial. Like, oh my gosh, I really, really, I really, really love it. Um, your makeup, please do a tutorial. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I finally decided to do it. I mean, it's crazy because the girl, the girl that recently asked, she doesn't even live in the same state. She just watches my streams and... She's actually very nice. We used to not really get along at first. But she's really nice now. It's funny how things can work out. This doesn't have to be perfect with this bottom layer here. It's not, you know, you don't want it to be exceedingly perfect. Because you want to look natural. You want to be a natural beauty. You were not born to look like a plastic doll. Not saying you do, but you know what I mean. Some girls, they put on like all this like foundation. Like you don't need all that foundation. Just keep your face clean. A little bit of foundation. If you're gonna use foundation, get it from Ulta. Ulta has good foundation. Now with this mascara, you could also get it from Ulta, but it's more expensive. It's like a few dollars more than Walmart. Um, the cream you can get at Sephora or Alta. I like uh, Alta though because it's in my town. Sometimes I live in Orlando and sometimes I live in Melbourne, Melbourne, Florida. And uh, it's a very suburban place, Melbourne. 
Melbourne is where it has the Ulta. They now have an Ulta um, across the street from the Millennium Mall in Orlando, which is really nice and big, big store. Um, but if you live in the Space Coast, you can easily find your Ulta. They have everything there. I love Ulta. They sell Urban Decay stuff. I love their stuff. People have asked me, have you used their mascara? No, I have not used their mascara, but maybe once or twice. I didn't really like the brush on their Urban Decay one, but I like their shadow. I didn't like their brush because I like to be able to separate my lashes, but <clears throat> I think that's about it. Um... the last white to see if there's no more black on the paper towel then you're done there you have it girls there's your mascara um, we've got our lower lids um, fine now if your mascara is like stuck um, what you could do is lightly use the silver part of this to comb up or use a toothpick to carefully separate the lashes and you don't put it too close to your eye just put it where it's clawed, clotted up and clogged up and just move it left to right till you got it spread and then um if you want to like make sure that this lasts all day long they have an all day spray by Urban Decay they also have one by Ulta I like the Urban Decay all day spray it will last you all day and all night and your lashes will stay beautiful um, if your eyelash is really small get an eyelash curler don't try not to put it too close to your eye pinch it let it sit for 30 seconds and then gently let go and let your eyelashes out before you do your mascara procedure but if you do everything like I told you to do you should be fine any of the leftover gunk on your hand if you use the, the lotion that should take it off immediately um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, anything else? No? Alright, oh. Um, <clears throat> I recommend using the rubber-tipped mascara sticks where they're like, they look like little spikes. Um, and, uh, and use that because it gives you this look that you're going for that really defined eyelash look that you want and um, if you really like mess up like if you really screw up real bad just take the just take some water and a paper towel and just walk like just don't use soap just close your eyelid and rub it left and right gently until there's like till you can feel like all of its off your eyelash if there's any like gooey you know that gel like feeling that mascara feeling left on your eyelash just keep doing it I mean if you're in a big rush you can use the lotion although I don't recommend it because if you do you could potentially get it in your eye and it'll burn a little bit and if you do get it in your eye then just use some water like a water bottle and just splash put the lid right over your eye and splash it a little bit and just you know rub it um, maybe use some clean and clear or whatever it's called for your eye to help you know with the pain the pain shouldn't last very long it should be like a few moments not even but um normally people don't get the lotion in their eye you would have to be like really jerking your hand around I uh, remember that your mascara your makeup is an art and it is to enhance your natural beauty and don't use it for anything else other than that um, if you have any questions, comments, or if you like the video, please feel free to post about it in the, you know, the comments below. Um, I will link you these products in the description of the video. I really hope you like this tutorial, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, and I'll do my um, eyeshadow for you in the next couple of tutorials. Tutorials. Well, y'all have a good one. Bye.